myself Pranav K. Mandal, I am working as an assistant professor in the department of mechanical engineering at IIT Guwahati. Myself and my colleague Dr. Vinay Kulkarni, we both will discuss about the uh, subject internal combustion engine and gas turbine. Uh, I will discuss in the internal combustion engine part uh, while my colleague uh, Dr. Vinay Kulkarni will discuss about the gas turbine part and uh, this course ice engine and gas turbine is basic course for the undergraduate student of mechanical engineering also for the chemical engineering and keeping that in mind the course content is designed for the undergraduate student of mechanical engineering, chemical engineering and aerospace engineering. Also the master students of you know uh, specializing in fluids you know thermofluid sciences, heat power engineering, automobiles engineering they also will get uh, some ideas from this course. Also the uh, industry personnel or you know uh, practicing engineer of from automobile in industries uh, they also will be benefited from this course and this course is basically provide uh, some material that needed for the basic understanding of the operation of internal combustion engine. So, apart from that you know uh, since we will discuss only the different aspects, different operations of internal combustion engine and gas turbine, uh, you know audience for this course are assumed to have you know basic knowledge of thermodynamics, heat transfer and fluid mechanics as a prerequisite for the course essentially uh, you know to get maximum benefit from this you know course. And you know that uh, we will discuss in detail about the you know uh, several issues starting from the combustion, supply of air fuel mixture into the engine, thermochemistry of the fuel and then we will discuss in detail that what are the you know alternative fuels cooling system required essentially to obtain higher efficiency from the engine and then uh, also we will discuss that uh, what are the fundamental difference between 4 stroke and 2 strokes engine, a spark ignition engine and compression ignition engine. Basically uh, these nowadays because of this recent development or technological advancement uh, we have engines with variable displacement, variable compression ratio and also you know uh, variable valve control and other new technologies. So, the challenge for today's you know uh, automobile engineers or practicing engineer working in different uh, you know automobile sectors, their challenge is to develop new engine concept and to maximize rather to develop new you know uh, t new engine concept that utilize and maximize the new technologies. And for that I believe that a basic understanding of the operational principle of internal combustion engine is required and I hope uh, this sub you know this basic course on internal combustion engine and gas turbine will provide sufficient material which is required for the basic understanding of the processes which are there in internal combustion engine and from there knowing that basic concept uh, how we can implement the new technologies essentially for the development of the new engines that will be available from this subject. I believe that the you know students either undergraduate students or the postgraduate students or the you know uh, practicing engineer will be benefited from this course. In this course of uh, IC engines and gas turbines, I will be uh, dealing with uh, the gas turbine part. I am Vinayak Kulkarni from Mechanical Engineering IIT Guwahati. The portion which I will be covering is related with gas turbines, its components. So, first few lectures will deal with what are the different types of arrangements of gas turbines, what are the different types of gas turbines, what are the different applications of gas turbines and what are the different components of gas turbines. Once that is done, then we will move towards different components and then their practical analysis through different thermodynamic uh, aspects. So, for that we will first cover the Brighton cycle and its different variants which will make the gas turbine power plant. So, different arrangements in gas turbine uh, power cycle which deal with reheat, intercooling and heat exchanger will be covered in the next part. After that we will have special topics on compressors, 
like centrifugal compressor, axial compressor, their velocity triangles and their analysis for the power input. Once that is done, then we will move towards the different types of turbines. Here we will deal again with axial gas turbine, radial gas turbine and then their velocity triangles and the practical power output from a gas turbine. Once that is done, then there are some more components in some special gas turbines which are nozzles and diffusers. So, we will have some lectures on nozzles and diffusers as well. So, in this due course of time, in this course we will understand what are the different types of gas turbines, what are their applications, what are their components, how to analyze them and how to design them for a particular situation. This is what this course will in deal with. Thank you.